One day we were walking around Marzix, Peter and I, and as we were bringing bread out to the dumpster and throwing away somebody else's bread, we thought it would be a good idea for, for us to make our own bread and be able to control the quality of, of the process. We're gonna mix it on slow speed, and slow speed only, that's the key. Fewer revolutions of the dough hook, hence less oxidation. And then we'll divide the dough into tubs. The overnight fermentation is critical to the quality of this bread because you achieve many of the benefits of making bread like you would using a pre-ferment, except for there is no need for a pre-ferment. We just let the entire dough rest overnight. I think we're the only ones around here that roll them by hand. There's a connection with the dough. There's something that's of value in the final product, the wonderful creamy and the uh, texture and flavor that it has. Really just the perfect ratio of crust to crumb. You can go to bread school and become a baker in a week, and I encourage you to do that. Definitely the best culinary experience, learning experience I ever had. We came back the very next week, and we started making bread for our delis. Um, we make all of our deli bread here, our whole wheat, our white, our every daily ciabattas and baguette. We're a bunch of novices, even though we work real hard. And, and I can't believe the amount of people that come up to me and say, this is the best bread in town. This is the best bread I've ever had. This is the best rye bread. I've traveled for 30 years looking for Jewish rye, and I have never found one that I liked until I came to your store. Well, I'll tell you, the ingredients we use are the best. The, our margins on bread are not huge. That is really good. That is really good. Nice work. <laughs> that was good.